What's up everyone, of Dags and Darkness. Now today I woke up from doing a closed, everyone losing their minds over 7 News Brisbane releasing a video on Job Blasters. Now guys, I'm going to have the video in the middle of this video of course so you can see the whole video in its entirety or the one I was at least shared. It's about nearly 2 minutes long, it was a quick expose, they touched on um, the fact the guy who is featured in it that owns the shop um, you know, he touched on that they're legal, he has a permit, and then is legally allowed to sell in Brisbane. And they kind of throw an ominous vibe in the sense that it's kind of free promotion to the sport, which is great. It also allows the public to see what the sport is and to understand it better. I just don't like the fact that at the start they go, this is an arsenal most Australians would be confronted with. Because they are toys. At the end of the day, these are toys. Yes, they look to a degree realistic to what a real version of that specific model of blaster to gun would look like. They're plastic, they fire gel walls, and you guys obviously know, you know, what gel blasters are at this point. So guys, I'm going to show you the video and then I'm going to talk about it briefly at the end and share my opinions and thoughts and get you guys to do the same in the comment section. It's an arsenal most Australians would find confronting. And it's not in Texas, this is suburban Brisbane. That's top of the range at the moment. Walking in off the street, customers can try and buy any number of assault rifles, but they're not real. These are toys and they're legal. I have a permit to import them and once they're here I can legally sell them. They're called gel blasters, a bit like paintball guns. They fire tiny gel balls lots of them. I definitely think it's going to take off big in Australia. Um, it's only been legal for a few months. It's cheap, um, it's a lot of fun and less painful than paintball. Middle-aged men are his biggest buyers. I sell to 80-year-old men to millionaires that rock up in Ferraris. There are M4s, Steyr rifles, an assortment of assault rifles and they look very real. Some think too real. I would have thought these would have been classified as a replica firearm. If they're not being classified as such, I'm slightly perplexed as to why that would be. Queensland police say they have no power to regulate the gel blasters unless it is an imitation or replica of a Category R weapon. Someone looking down the barrel of one of these doesn't know that it's not going to fire. These blasters are so realistic looking, customers are being told to be careful by concealing them in boxes or bags when they're in public so they don't cause alarm. And possibly turn their owner into a target of a big police response. Carly Egan, 7 News. What's up everyone? So by now you've seen the video. A um, couple of things I didn't like. They kind of, with the criminologist just being there, they make it seem like it's an illegal activity. And like he said, the store owner said in Brisbane, um, basically they're legal. So also at the start of the video, they said, you know, some people, you know, would question if these are legal, you know, yes, I understand that, but in most states, especially I say, they've been legal for a while now and are legal to import. So I don't like the fact that they kind of gave that vibe that they should be banned or should be illegal to use. Um, yeah, so guys, basically throughout the video, you know, they show, you hear the reporter speaking, they show some video they filmed, they show the criminologist. And they kind of make it seem like if you were to look down a barrel of one of these, you wouldn't know if it's real or not. There's two gel blasters I would question in a dark alley if someone pulled it on me. And that's the Glock 18 and the Colt 1911. And that's for the fact is because they look the most realistic out of all of them. These are plastic toys, but they do look realistic to the counterpart of the actual blaster. To the actual real steel version. Now, saying that, they throw around, uh, words around like assault rifle, um, you know, and I don't like that because when they're talking about assault rifles, that's a vague term that a lot of people use, and it's incorrect to the actual terminology. It's like, if that's a UMP-45 right there. That is a 45 APC submachine gun. You know, but people would go, oh, that's an assault rifle. It's not. They throw that terminology around, and it frustrates me because in Australia... You would not be able to get an M16, an M4A1, an AK-47. So seeing someone who maybe 
walking around the street with it wouldn't alarm me. I can see how it would alarm some people, but knowing basic gun knowledge, you know what is legal to own and what is impossible to get. So when they go, oh, you know, it would be confronting if someone was walking around with it. Yes, I can see how it could be confronting, but with basic gun knowledge, you know that that would be a toy because it would be illegal and practically impossible to get into Australia. So I don't mind how Seven News kind of portrayed gel blasters to a degree. I feel like the having the criminologist there was completely unnecessary. He kind of gave the vibe, in my sense, that the public should try and get these banned or, you know, boycott or something, which is not what needs to be done. If anything, Seven News showed that they're legal to own, legal to use. The fact that the seller um, that was shown used eye protection when uh, demonstrating blasters and also to his customer, used eye protection without testing, which is perfect. It's not like they breached any um, safety regulations. They used eye protection. So if anything, it shows the better light of gel blasters. Um, they talked about paintball and, you know, it's cheaper than paintball. It, it definitely is. This... Gel blasters and skirmishes are a cheaper and better alternative than paintball for a lot of people, and that's why we play it, because it's cheaper, it's better, it's funner. So I feel like 7 News kind of portrayed it in a better light. I don't like having a criminologist on there, like I said before. He kind of makes it feel like it's a shady thing, that shady people are going to do this, and they don't. The community in SA ranges from, you know, 16-year-olds to, like, people in their mid-50s. We just like having a skirmish. We just like playing in a safe environment where we do not hurt the public. We've done so much good work to make sure if the public sees it, we stop playing. We explain what's going on. We've never had issues. I don't like if you get someone that comes on and tries to basically paint everyone in tar saying we're all going to be criminals. We're all going to use these in heists. We're all going to rob banks or convenience stores or service stations because we're not. They even said in the video, like I've said, people put these in boxes and bags for transport because they don't want to alarm the public because it's a toy. They want to do the most respectful and common sense thing possible. So, guys, I don't 100% agree with 7 News to the fullest degree, but I don't also hate what they've done. They were very calm and level-headed towards it, which I appreciate because they didn't paint everyone with a black tar brush. They looked at the facts. They're legal to own, legal to purchase, legal to play with. So guys, tell me what you think of the video in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of the 7 News video and my own video. Any comments will be, you know, I, I generally try and look at them and give my thoughts and opinions. Tell me how you felt about what the video was broken down as, you know. The seller, he did a perfect job in demonstrating how blasters are safe and fun to use. With eye protection, you know, firing range, you know, he did ridiculously well. He didn't do anything wrong, which I really, really like. He hold it, held himself in such a high degree to promote gel blasters in the best and safe way possible. Tell me what you think about the criminologist, the fact he couldn't specifically state the definition of um, replica and imitation. I'm not going to get into that now because I don't want this video to go forever. And tell me what you think about 7 News in a whole and how they portray the video. I think this is just kind of to the most part, good publicity so that people understand what these are. They understand their toys. They understand they're legal. But you never know what their intentions were for the video or how the video will be perceived by the public. I'm hoping the public looks at it in a good light that is a safe and fun sport to do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so you get notified of all my videos. And I'll catch you guys next time.